Okay, now for our dividers. Let's see. Dana and I were talking. We we're talking about needing six because let's see, we're gonna need hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, fives, and ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Definitely not going to be able to make six out of this, but I can do what I can do. Hmm. Okay, so I, here is something that I do happen to have on hand. Handy scoreboard. I love it. And I don't have my score. That's okay, I have an X-Acto knife. Let's see, it's going to go this way, so I need to divide it this direction. Make sure that you double check, double check, double check. So we've got five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. I don't know. I'll be right back. Let me think about this for a second. Hey, sorry. So funny because I was looking for my calculator and my calculator is on my phone, which is where I'm filming. So I did a quick calculation, 5.25 divided by 6 was 0.875. Um, don't know if that is doable or not, especially with the eyeball method. So that's a little less than an inch. Hmm. A little less than an inch. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to see how high this measures. Actually is not a bad measurement. Can you see my tick? It's about halfway up the box. So if I'm laying my dollars in my cash, I think it should be okay. I'm pretty sure it should be okay. Hmm is interesting <clears throat> okay but like I said this is off of the top of my head I have not planned this so we're gonna go with what we know okay so I'm I have never claimed to be a whiz with math so I'm not even gonna try I'm going to start at zero and go with the tick marks that I have. So, start with the tick marks. Start with that tick mark. And it should be pretty close. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to use... We're going to use a square of any kind. I just happen to have this. Bought it at the dollar store. So this is the eyeball method. I happen to buy this at the dollar store. So it's a crafting square. And I'm going to go with what I, what I happen to have on hand. There we go. It's not perfect. It's done. 
<clears throat> Here we go. Quick little snip. Five. And then the last one. And we are scot free. Now, Becky, how are you going to put these in your box? Good question. I asked that myself while I was talking to you on camera. Remember how we were talking about reinforcements and it's okay. It's okay because it's just trash. Guess what we have? We have reinforcements right here. We sure do. In the forms of little bitty tags. Now, I am not a promoter of saving all of your trash. Do not save all your trash. This just happened to be in the trash can. And I'm going to use it. Because I don't want it necessarily to have to be the sturdiest thing in the world, if this makes sense. It doesn't have to be the sturdiest thing in the world. It's going to hold dollar bills. It's just something that I've made. Just for me. This is my project. And it does not bother me at all. That it is not perfect. That it doesn't look perfect. Doesn't bother me at all. So, let me get my paper clips. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I will simply hold it down with a paper clip because these will be my tabs. So the whole goal <clears throat> is I'm going to use this tab to attach it just like so so that it can divide my box okay so now that we're cutting and gluing I wanted to show you that I made a mistake and that it's okay it's okay we all make mistakes so as I made my measurements, I knew it was going to be a little bit above the box and that was okay with me. So I went ahead and cut my cardstock where I wanted it. I even scored it with my handy dandy little scoreboard or score tool. But I found out another little uh, happy accident <laughs> that... I didn't score it all the way perfectly, but that's okay, right? That's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I just wanted to show you the process. So as we're going through the gluing and making sure that I'm getting every edge covered and I'm trying to have fun like I did when I was a schoolgirl, because like I said, watermelon, watermelon, yum trying to channel the inner child and have fun during the process, even if I do make mistakes. But I'm using the cardboard box as my guide, lining it up the best that I can, score it down, burnish it down a little bit before I decide to go ahead and fold it over. So see, it's not perfect and that's okay. Give her a good, a good burnishing like so. Have another tab ready to go. I put it off to the side underneath a weight. Okay, perfect. Looky there. Okay, so we have our tabs. Remember why I said it's the same color as the box itself so that it will blend in nicely. 
So when we put it in, it's going to look approximately like this. Is it straight perfectly? No. Do I care? No. It's just done. And that's the whole point. So now it's time to assemble. This is the fun part. The fun part. So we're going to do our assembling. Now remember early on in the video, we found out in order to divide it by six, it was a little less than an inch. And so I had used my um, my scoreboard as a guide. So I think I'm going to do that again. So this is the direction that we're going to glue our tabs in. So I will use my scoreboard and a pencil. And I'm going to lightly put in a pencil line that is just a little bit below the inch. I had used about that. Remember we're using the eyeball method. One, two, three. That is not perfect. That's okay. Let's get it lined up. So see I'm lining my match. I'm matching my pencil line with my zero. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I didn't do that right, did I? I know why. You probably know why too. Because I actually have to do it this direction. That's okay, right? Happy accidents. That's why that's why we used a pencil. Guess what? It erases right off. <laughs> Go figure. Who would have thought that? Okay. Let's do it again. All right, this time we'll get it right. So little less than an inch, right about there. Little less than an inch to three, four, And then about five. So I'll try to get about halfway in there. It's okay. That's going to be my hundred section anyway. Well, hopefully one day I'll be able to fill those up. But for right now, this is where I'm going. So let's get to assembling, shall we? Okay, so we have our lines. Yeah, you see the lines? I hope you can see the lines. There they are. Close enough. All right. So I'm going to take my first tab. Oh, no, you can't see the lines because that was the one I erased. Becky! It's okay. See, that's erased. There are my lines. Yeah, now you can see them. Okay, so I'm going to take my first tab. I'll put it in here and just look. Give a little look-see on how I want that to work. Let's look here. There's one. And then get the other ones here. Remember, we want the colored side to show. Two, three, three, and then four and five. So let's start first with the back section. I'm going to get my gluing paper. I'm 
give her a quick glue right there and right here. Try to fold it in the best I can. There we go. Not going to be perfect. It's okay. We don't mind. Let me see if I can get that as straight as I can before I set it where I want it. Yep, that's where I want it. I don't think my safety or my clips are as long as I want them to be, but that's all right. They'll do. They'll do. Let's get those paper clips in there. Okay. Number one. She's ready to go. And then we have two more. I'm so excited. What did I do with my last two tabs? There they are. Okay, two more. Two to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and fold them first. Sorry. Of course, when the camera runs, then I decide to have the sniffles. Okay, here we go. One. Fold it in there. Give it a good fit. Okay. And then a squeeze and a clip. Squeeze and a clip. Squeeze and a clip. That's the name of the game today. Yeah, that one bothers me a little bit. Does it bother you? I hope not. I'm funny like that. <laughs> I am. I'm funny like that, but that's okay. We're going to say forgiveness and grace. That's what we're going to say. Forgiveness and grace. Am I going to see this whenever I'm stuffing my beautiful box with my wonderful savings that I'm deciding to to uh, make a goal of this year? Is everybody, do you have your savings goals for the year? I don't have them all the way, but I do have some ideas. And I think I would like to do some savings challenges as well. Um, there are several that are on Etsy that looks super cute. I've never done one. And I actually made myself a little spreadsheet of a debt knockout debt challenge. It's so cute. But it, like I said, it's very basic. Um, but it will work. Okay, looky there, looky there, look, look, we did it, we did it. All trash, now our treasure. So what I think I'm going to do now that I have them complete, they're not stable, stable, but we're going to give them a shot here, like I said. But, check it out, I have my very own sorter. So now, whenever I decide I want to stuff my cash envelopes, I have my sorter ready. And if even if I want, I decided a little while back, let me think about this. I have tabs that I have had forever. Super cute. I love the, the color scheme. Especially the rose gold, my favorite. Um, and I thought about taking my tabs and actually making labels. So let's just get one and see what it looks like. Oh, that's fitting for a hundred dollars, isn't it? 
So I could put it here and label it 100. Yeah. And then do my 50. Next. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. If I can get it straight, that's okay. Check it out. See? Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give, drop me a comment below. Let me know how you liked it. I know it's a little long. I won't go so long on my videos the next time, but this is kind of an introduction and just a quick, um, or, uh, hmm, yeah, I guess it would be quick in my brain, a quick way to come up with a creative ideas that you can use around your home, things that are for free, uh, that you can repurpose and make beautiful treasures out of. So, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, don't forget to give Dana some love, and you'll be seeing us pretty soon. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.